loving Heavenly Father promises He is always present with us, even in our darkest moments. Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread, titled Dad at the Dentist. It was written by Adam Holes. I didn't expect a profound lesson about the father's heart at the dentist office, but I got one. I was there with my 10-year-old son. He had an adult tooth coming in under a baby tooth that hadn't fallen out yet. It had to come out. There was no other way. My son, in tears, pleaded with me, Dad, isn't there another way? Can't we just wait and see? Please, Dad, I don't want to have this tooth pulled. It just about broke my heart, but I told him, Son, it's got to come out. I'm sorry. There's no other way. And I held his hand as he wriggled and writhed while the dentist removed that stubborn molar. Tears in my eyes, too. I couldn't take his pain away. The best I could offer was to be present with him in it. In that moment, I remembered Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane asking his father for a different way. How it must have broken the father's heart to see his beloved son in such agony. Yet, there was no other way to save his people. In our lives, we sometimes face unavoidable yet painful moments, just like my son did. But because of Jesus' work for us through his spirit, even in our darkest moments, our loving Heavenly Father is always present with us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 through 39. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Let's pray. Father, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your beloved son to save us, even though it must have broken your heart to do so. In our times of joy or pain, thank you for your spirit holding and carrying us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.